Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm doing things a little bit different for a minute. Um, I decided to start a new segment. I'm going to do, you know, the elements. So this is going to be for Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is for singles. This reading is for singles. That means if you're not in a relationship and you're single, you're single, you live alone, you're not with anybody, you live alone, you're single. This reading is for singles. Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What do we have in the future for December 15th through the 31st? Now this is being recorded on the 13th. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I gotta push this up. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We're gonna get one of these, which there it is. Then we're gonna break into that. Let's see what we got for love. Woo! Woo! Door to romance. So, yay, the door is opening, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Woo! B, are you ready? Are you ready? I don't know about this. I really don't. All right, so let's see. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, singles. What do they need to know? Somebody's got the key or somebody's about to unlock that heart. Oh, boy. Look at the hearts floating around. Butterflies, butterflies. Uh-oh. And then look at this shit. 33, your prayers have been heard. Your prayers have been heard. You've been praying every night when you go to bed. You've been praying. I have. <laughs> Anyhow, it looks as though the door is about to open for you. If you are single, you live alone. Here we go. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What a great start. Oh, jeez. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, fire sign. Is this who's coming into your life? Either way, this is a person that is very vibrant, very confident, hard worker. We have somebody that is coming in that probably has dark hair. Um, he's very passionate. He could be a boss or he ha probably is in a very respectable role, put it that way. Whoever's coming in is very respectable. This guy, or, you know, it could, long, it could be a female, but I really think it's a male. I don't know. It could be a female. This is an energy. This one is. Um, very, very passionate. And it looks like he's coming in with an, with an offer. It's like he's very noble. This is a noble man. Thank the Lord Jesus. Oh, and he's coming in fast. Very strong. Somebody is coming in. It's like, <laughs> this man has courage. You're going to be receiving some sort of message or opportunity with somebody that is courageous and strong and noble. This man has no fear. He doesn't have any fear. No fear of love, okay? Thank you, Lord, again. Oh my God, and it's a gift, it's something to celebrate. You may meet this person at some sort of celebration if you haven't met him already, okay? You may meet him at a celebration, and this, this person is, you know, he's got the Two of Cups and the Ace of Cups, so he's he's looking for love. This is the, another three, it's the answer to your prayers. You are going to be receiving some sort of, oh goodness gracious, it's a, it's a true gift, it is a true gift. Now, this can even signify a reunion. So I'm not sure if you know this person or not. You can meet them at some sort of reunion. It could be a family reunion. It could be a Christmas party. It could be any kind of gathering, okay? And, it's, and this is something, making a conscious change to drop something. The Ten of Wands, something is being dropped. Something is being let go. Burdens. Burdens are being dropped. Oh, my God. 
your anxiety is being let go. If you've been feeling depressed, if you've been feeling, you know, a heaviness, if you've been feeling overwhelmed, that's about to dissipate because it looks like somebody's going to come in and they're going to make you feel really, really good. They're going to make you feel really happy. <clears throat> the depression, the sadness, the, the guilt and the, the heaviness that you have held on to is going to fall away. It's going to fall away. This person is coming in. Oh my God. They're going to help you. They are going to help you. There's going to be a definite attraction between the two of you. Absolutely. Absolutely. And like I said, they're coming in to help you. Look at the threes, okay? We have, basically have four threes here. It's the answer to your prayers. They heard the universe, God, angels, spirits. They heard your prayers, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And even though you may feel that, like this love is never coming, and you've been there, we got the three of cups down here. You've been focusing on some loss for quite some time. You've been focusing on some pain. It's like God, angels, spirits are, are saying, turn around, turn around. You have another opportunity. Here it is. Here's the opportunity. Stop focusing on this loss because here's your new love. Here's your new love. So you got somebody that is, and this could be a reunion. It could be because this is somebody wanting to come back. So, you know, be prepared for some sort of arrival. I think somebody is rushing into your life very, very quickly and you're probably going to need to think about this. You probably need to think about whether you want this person or not. Now, this could be somebody new as well. This could be somebody um, brand new or somebody that you knew a long time ago. I get this feeling like it's somebody that you know, but it's not who you think it is. That's, I'm rubbing my heart. I'm rubbing my heart and I don't do this very often, but... I think there's some sort of reunion with somebody that you knew and it this person is coming in to help you heal and I this, this person wants to work with you they have something in, to give they have something to offer they uh want they definitely want to work with you they definitely want to work with you they want to they want to put in effort they want to show you what the, what they who they are they want to show you you know what they're what they have to offer you know what i mean they want to show you their craft they want to they want to work with you so somebody this may even be somebody that you worked with a long time ago or somebody that you work with now i don't know what this is but it feels as though there's a a toxic situation that is being dropped and a new bond is being built okay i feel as though you have been in an unstable dissatisfying situation that has left you feeling lost and empty and now we have this new person that is coming into your life to you know, give you something that you have been wishing for. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, you know, and I feel like there's going to be a deep, deep, deep attraction with this person. You, you're going to be very attracted to this person. This person is coming with this Ace of Wands. I mean, this is a instant attraction. It really is. I feel like you've, you've been down in the dumps, but this down in the dumps period that you have been through is over. It's over because this person is going to light you up. You know, they're going to they're gonna help you to just release. It's going to be like, it could be like a sudden, you know, a sh sudden shift, you know, from holding on to something that was toxic to an instant release, you know. This person is going to make you feel happy. They're going to they're going to make you feel alive again by the looks of things because all of a sudden, you know, they got they want to work with you, you know. They 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 want to show you, you know, what they can do for you. So, interesting. This is really interesting. So, you have a new door opening and it's going to help you to release and close another door because this is closure.
you have somebody that's really better suited for you than than whoever it is that you've been hanging on to. You've been hanging on to somebody that does will not attach. You've been hanging on to the master of non-attachment, right? And it's caused a lot of sleepless nights. And it's caused a lot of sadness. And it's caused a lot of anxiety. And it's caused a lot of bitterness within you. But I think whoever is coming in is is coming in with their, you know, the courage and the confidence and the strength to help you open up. They they know that you have been hurt and they're willing to help you anyway. Whoever's coming into your life, they they I think when I saw this first card, I said this guy has been watching you. That's I didn't say it, but that's what I was thinking. This guy has been watching. And he knows that you've been hurt. He knows that you're bitter. He knows that somebody really hurt you badly. But he's coming anyway. He's coming anyway. He's like, you know what? I've seen this person suffer. And, I, and I'm here. I'm here. I'm here to help this person. So I feel like you have a new exciting opportunity that is coming in. This person is coming to offer you emotional support. And it looks like it's going to lead to love and commitment. This door to romance is opening with, from somebody that you didn't expect. That's what it looks like to me. I feel as though it could absolutely lead to marriage. This this uh, person that is coming in is very, uh, very, very passionate, very, very confident, has a, a high self-esteem, um, very well suited for you. This person is ready to help you face your demons. You know, they are. They are. They want, they want to help you to release a toxic situation. They see. They've been watching. This person knows you. This person knows you. And they are ready to, you know, help you. This, this person's coming in to help. I know this is the case. So I feel like uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you have somebody that is going to help you to heal from somebody that really, 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 really hurt you. Really hurt you. And you're going to be flabbergasted <laughs> you are you are I just feel like this is really an opportunity somebody is coming in with some sort of emotional support um, they're coming in very quickly and they know they know that you've been hurt and they're not gonna run they're not gonna run even though they know that you're still hurt and you're still holding on to some bitterness from the past they're still they're still coming they're still coming they're like you know what I've, I've seen enough this person you know, is the one that I I wanna I wanna be with. I'm 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 gonna face these demons with this person. So I feel like you are going to have a reunion with somebody that you probably didn't expect. And this this probably starts out as friendship because this is friendship. It is. It starts out as friendship. This come this person comes in offering you some kind of emotional support, and it turns to love. And I know this is exactly the case. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You've been struggling. You've been struggling. You've been through some sort of really uh, painful situation. And this person is coming to offer you friendship. And as this friendship grows, it's going to turn into love. They are going to take that key and open your heart. That's what I have. December 15th to the 31st, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Be prepared for somebody to arrive into your life unexpectedly. And they're not going to, they're not, they, they're not going to worry about, they're not going to let your resentment of the past hold them back, put it that way. It's like they understand, they understand what life is all about. They understand that people hurt and they other understand that people need help and this person is finding the courage and the strength and the confidence to come in this person has it anyway it's not that they're finding it they have it they're like i'm 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 gonna protect you this is a protector you think about the emperor i mean this is the this is the emperor this is the emperor it is this person is going to protect you. it's like you know what this person i'm coming in to protect you now so be prepared for you know 
somebody to come into your life to help you to heal from something that was holding you back from success. December 15th to the 31st, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Singles. Singles. New arrival of love. Starts out as friends. It does start out as friends. But I think it's going to turn into love quickly. I do. I do. That's what I have. If you like this segment, let me know and I'll keep doing it. You know, singles, love, you know, twice a month. I'll do it the first half of the month and the second half of the month. If you like the segment, let me know below. Like or, or comment below. And I'll know if you like it or not. Good luck. You guys been stuck. You've been stuck and it's time to let go. And the universe works in mysterious ways. They will bring catalysts into your life at the right time. Good luck.